The Anaheim Ducks hosted their first of four rink tour speaking series on Saturday, November 12th at Irvine Inline. Goalies Jonas Hiller and defenseman Lucas Biza were on hand to answer questions from the crowd, as well as sign autographs for all fans in attendance. Over 250 Ducks fans were in attendance for the event. It also featured Hiller's November goalie mask. Just another positive thing that the Ducks bring to the table. It means everybody's super excited. You know, you hear about the Ducks and you hear about, you know, pro athletes. And for us to be this new with the Rinks program and actually have the Movember mask with Jonas Hiller, everybody's super excited. And uh, everybody knows uh, Lucas Pisa is one of the young, young new players to be to the to be to the Ducks. Everybody's super excited to ask them all the questions they've been waiting to ask them in person. And hopefully a, a lot of people get some uh, autographs today as well. I'm excited, you know, so is my favorite player, and Luke Beast is probably one of the top two defensemen we have in a couple years, so I'm very excited to meet him. Yeah, I'm just excited, he's excited, because he's a very big Dex fan, and since I'm his dad, hey, I support him all the way. Oh, uh, really excited. Uh, he's actually, his, today's his birthday, and, uh, you know, he's a little goalie, and so I'm so excited to meet Hiller and uh, ask him questions, and uh, just couldn't believe it was today. Our guests of honor have arrived. Luke Beast, Donna Hiller. Once again, welcome to the Ducks Link Tour Speaker Series. This is the first of four times this season that Ducks players will visit local rinks, inline rinks, ice rinks, and uh, just kind of share a little bit with fans, sign some autographs, that kind of thing. How did they choose their uh, uniform members? Uh, you know, growing up playing hockey, I used to be 21. Uh, Matt Sandin used to be my favorite player. I played as a forward as well, so I was wearing 21. And when I was about 14, 15 years old, um, one of the older guys had 21, so I had to make another, take another number, so I picked five. It's pretty simple because uh, it's, it's the quickest, if you have to sign your number, it's the quickest to sign. <laughs> no, uh, just kidding. Uh, no, I mean, uh, yeah, growing up I had a, f a few different numbers. Uh, it used to be that goalies were always... We're wearing number one, so I was wearing number one really early. Then everybody was switching to higher numbers. Then I was wearing like 31 for a while and whatever. And uh, then I go like, well, if everybody else wearing 31, I should go back to number one. So I've been uh, went back to number one. And the good part is that because nobody else wants to wear it, I can always have my jersey with the number one. And even signing with the Ducks, it was no problem to get my uh, number one jersey. Now. We went to Finland and Sweden to start the season. I was proud of myself because I learned two Finnish words. So let's see how many languages these guys speak. Well, if you count Finnish, no, I don't speak Finnish. I got the two words too, but no, I mean, I, I speak uh, like my main, uh, main language is uh, Swiss German, which is a kind of like dialect from, from German. So, but the spoken or the written language in Switzerland is, is high German, which is still quite different. So if, if I always count that as one and a half languages. Then I, sp I speak French and a little bit of English. <laughs> Luca. Uh, same here. Uh, Swiss German and the German people speak in Germany as well. And then uh, with my mother being from Italy, uh, I speak Italian too. It's a little rusty, but uh, she, always, she always talks to me in Italian. I always answer in German because that's my native language. And. Uh, I used to be able to be decent in French, but after school it just went downhill. And uh, yeah, a little bit of English as well. How many years have you been playing? How many years have you been playing? Yes. Okay, Luca, how many years have you been playing hockey? The first time I skated on ice was when I was three years old. Uh, me and my sister started skating together uh, with the figure skating coach actually, just to kind of learn how to move on the ice. and. Uh, when I was four, I uh, joined an organized hockey team. Never since I've been playing hockey. Now, you notice one thing: uh, your mask is here. I understand, and uh, if not already, it's going to be on display. Jonas Hiller's November goaltending mask. And uh, Jonas, I know the story, but maybe if some of the people don't, maybe you could just explain how this whole idea came about and uh, how your mask came about. Well, uh, it was pretty much uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, when uh, 
George Perez asked ask the guys on the team uh, who's, who's growing their stash for this year and uh, who's, who's, who's uh, be part of that whole November thing and uh, I think uh, everybody on the team said yes beside me. <laughs> I said like ah, I don't know if I want to grow a mustache or whatever. And then he goes like, yeah, you know, you're the only, you're, you're the only guy. And I go like, yeah, I know, and whatever. So I thought, well, I should probably come up with something. And I was talking to my painter anyway, and uh, he said, yeah, we should, we should come out with a couple of masks, some show something different. After I've been wearing that uh, flat flat mask for quite a while, and uh, I talked to him about uh, that November theme and about the guys growing a mustache and. Uh, the rest is pretty much, uh, he just went with it and that's what he came up with and uh, I, I, I was definitely, or everybody was surprised how big, big of a bus uh, it was. I mean, people were talking about it and answering questions about it every day, so uh, I mean, it's cool. I, it, I think it's a, it's a great thing, the whole Movember movement and uh, it's for a good cause, so uh, I'm definitely glad I did it and I definitely like the mask. Well, the, the whole Movember is uh, pretty much uh, to get awareness of men's health and uh, the, the the main part is the process of cancer but it's it's all about cancer just man's health and uh, pretty much uh, it's just uh, getting awareness of the whole thing kind of have people talking about it and I mean we have two guys uh, on our team who, who uh, had to fight against cancer I have a friend of mine who, who fought against cancer and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it can touch everybody, and uh, I'm sure everybody knows somebody who fought cancer.